I got kind of interested in the announcing game. Found out that I could throw the bull better than I could ride it, so I made that exchange. <laughs> Might have been a good move. You know, and rolling in and seeing that big smile of his, you know, he, he was, you know, small in stature, but was one of the biggest men you've ever met in your life, and his personality just, you know, hit you way before you even got to him. He was one of my dearest friends. Happy was just, I, 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 he was everything. And to me, he was Mr. Rodeo. As I got older and was raising my boys, how dad was able to tow both lines with me and knew when to be friend and when to be dad. He was so good at it. And I just thought, we could do it. It's hard, it's really hard. He's a smart man. Nobody ever said anything negative about Hadley Barrett. I've never been around anybody in my entire life uh, that settled for less than 100% than Hadley Barrett. I loved being with my dad. I remember setting my alarm and going and standing in an open gate while he fed hay so that he wouldn't have to get off and on, but I could just stand there and help. Eighty-some years old, eighty-some years old, get home from working a rodeo and leave this world. That was, I, I don't think, I don't think, uh, Hadley would have wanted it any other way, I don't believe, and definitely going to be missed. He was everybody's friend. He had that voice that will live somewhere forever. He was a musician, he was an orator. Announcing is what he did. But his legacy will just be one of the best announcers we ever had and one of the best friends everybody had.